Python vs. Julia, a tale of two languages for scientific computing. The realm of scientific computing has witnessed a constant evolution of languages, each vying for dominance in efficiency and expressiveness. Two prominent contenders in this arena are Python and Julia. While Python boasts a vast ecosystem and beginner-friendly nature, Julia stands out for its blazing speed and focus on numerical computations. This article delves into the strengths and weaknesses of both languages, aiding you in selecting the optimal tool for your scientific endeavors. Python, the all-encompassing giant. Python's popularity transcends scientific computing. Its clear syntax, resembling natural language, makes it an excellent choice for beginners. Extensive libraries like NumberPy, Pandas, and SciPy provide a treasure trove of functionalities for numerical computations, data analysis, and scientific visualization. These libraries, often built using C for performance, seamlessly integrate with Python, offering a powerful combination of ease of use and efficiency. A vibrant and supportive community is another hallmark of Python. Countless online resources, tutorials, and forums offer invaluable assistance to programmers of all levels. This vast knowledge base makes it easier to find solutions to problems and leverage the collective wisdom of the Python community. However, Python's interpreted nature comes with a performance trade-off. While optimized libraries bridge the gap to some extent, pure Python code often pales in comparison to compiled languages like C or Julia in terms of raw speed. This can be a significant drawback for computationally intensive tasks like large-scale simulations or complex machine learning algorithms. Another consideration is Python's global interpreter lock, GIL. The GIL ensures thread safety but limits true parallelism, hindering performance on multi-core systems. This becomes a bottleneck for applications that heavily rely on parallel processing. Julia, the speed demon with scientific ambitions. Julia, a relatively young language compared to Python, was specifically designed for scientific computing. Its compiled nature allows it to achieve speeds closer to languages like C. This makes Julia ideal for computationally intensive tasks where raw performance reigns supreme. Julia's built-in support for multiple dispatch, a powerful feature allowing functions to behave differently based on argument types, streamlines scientific code. This eliminates the need for writing boilerplate code to handle different data types, leading to cleaner and more concise programs. Furthermore, Julia boasts a growing ecosystem of scientific computing packages. While it may not yet match the sheer volume of libraries available for Python, Packages like differential equations, JL, and Flux. JL offer impressive capabilities for scientific simulations and machine learning, respectively. However, Julia's learning curve is steeper compared to Python. Its syntax, while designed for mathematical expressiveness, can be unfamiliar to programmers coming from other languages. Additionally, the community surrounding Julia, though passionate and rapidly growing, is not as vast as Python's. This can make finding support or solutions to specific problems slightly more challenging. Another factor to consider is Julia's relative immaturity. As a young language, it is still evolving and breaking changes may occur more frequently compared to Python. This can disrupt workflows and require code updates for users relying on cutting-edge Julia features. Choosing the right tool, a matter of priorities, the optimal language for your project hinges on your specific needs and priorities. Consider the following factors to make an informed decision. Performance. If raw speed is paramount, Julia is the clear winner. For computationally intensive tasks, Julia's compiled nature can offer significant performance gains. Project scope. For smaller projects or rapid prototyping, Python's ease of use and extensive libraries might be more advantageous. Team expertise. If your team is already proficient in Python, switching to Julia might require additional learning investment. Community support. Python's vast community can be invaluable for troubleshooting and finding solutions. Maturity. 
Python's relative maturity translates to greater stability and fewer potential disruptions due to breaking changes. Beyond the binary, leveraging the best of both worlds. In some cases, you may not need to choose between Python and Julia. They can work together effectively. Prototyping in Python, leverage Python's rapid development environment to prototype algorithms and explore approaches. Performance critical sections in Julia, once you have identified computationally intensive sections of your code, rewrite them in Julia for a performance boost. This hybrid approach allows you to exploit the strengths of both languages, harnessing Python's ease of use for initial development and Julia's speed for performance-critical parts of your application. Conclusion Python and Julia are both powerful tools for scientific computing, each with its unique strengths and weaknesses. Understanding these distinctions and your project's specific requirements will empower you to make the optimal choice. Remember, the best language is the one that allows you to solve your scientific problems efficiently and effectively.